Let's take a few moments and demonstrate this temporary role that will be given to solo waiver support coordinators who are transitioning to a qualifying organization. Now, as you know, with the most recent updated version of the handbook, it states that if a procedure code is live in APDI Connect, then the documentation must be in APDI Connect before that provider submits billing. This applies to waiver support coordination as well. And waiver support coordination, as you know, all of the procedure codes are live in APDI Connect. And so it's quite possible that some of you may have been continuing to do your documentation outside of APDI Connect, and um, now you're getting ready to bill because you're transitioning to a qualifying organization. Well, before you can submit that billing, you need to go back and make sure that your documentation is in APDI Connect. And one of the things that you'll find is that once your worker record, your login, is associated with the qualifying organization, when you use the WSC slash CDC role, while you might see all of your consumers that are on your caseload, because you are still the primary worker, you will not be able to see the authorization for your solo WSC provider record. And you need to be able to see your authorization for your solo WSC provider record in order to be able to add in your progress notes. So we have created this role here, the former solo WSC documentation role, and it will be given to you. You won't be able to access it in ID Pass. It's just something that will be given to you. And again, this is a temporary role to give you time to get your documentation in before you submit your billing as a solo waiver support coordinator. So let me go ahead and press go just to make sure that I refresh. And you can see my dashboard doesn't exist for this role. Again, this role has one purpose and one purpose only. So if you need to work with consumers and update their demographics, add in a person-centered support plan, add a note and attach documents from the doctor, or update the cost plan and or authorizations, you're going to need to use your WSC slash CDC role. This role, again, is only for documentation in your old solo WSC provider authorization. So let's go ahead and do a search for our consumer. We're going to work with Andy demonstration today. So let's open Andy's record. And again, you can see because this role is designed for one specific function, you don't see any of the tabs. You can't edit Andy's de demographics. You can see Andy's demographics, but that's it. You can go to the provider documentation screen and do file, add provider documentation. And then again, let's just say you've been keeping your notes in another system outside of APDI Connect, and now you're going to copy and paste them into APDI Connect so that you can submit your billing. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll change the date. And let's say this was July 1. And then we go ahead and we search for the authorization. Now this is where you're going to see the big difference. Right now with your WSC slash CDC role, you see only the authorization for you as a solo um, WSC. And, and in the future, once you're associated with your qualifying organization, you will see only the authorization for the qualifying organization. But in this example, you wanted to see your solo WSC authorization. So you just click on solo WSC record authorization, whatever your record was called when you were a solo, and that pulls all of the information in. So we go ahead and we update the units to one. And we put in our face-to-face -face documentation. And then we do save. Let me make sure this date is correct. Let's do that. And then save and add session note.
And so now you're able to get to the WSC progress note field, and you'll be able to go back in and enter in everything that you have done that you had previously documented outside of the system. You're able to copy and paste that in. So let's just say we met with Andy that day. And he was the only one there, and it was a face-to-face. And again, if you've got your progress note information in another electronic format, you can copy from and then paste your progress note here. And if there was any follow-up needed, you would say yes or no. As you know, if you say yes, another field opens up. But in this example, we're going to say no. And then we just do file, save and close session note. So again, now you're able to use this role to go back and add in your documentation before you submit your billing. And let's do save and close provider documentation. And that is how you do it.